at Hey Golfers, Dean with GolfAllYear.com, and today we're going to talk about practice. Practicing at home using a launch monitor. I use the Garmin R10, but there are many launch monitors out there. Check GolfAllYear.com if you want more information on launch monitors, but today we're going to focus on how to practice and get better and improve at home just by using your launch monitor and the data that it provides. So let's take a look. So first up, we need to know what we're going to be practicing. The launch monitor, the, in particular, my Garmin R10, I'm going to talk about that a lot. The Garmin R10 has some certain things that it can tell us and certain metrics and certain data that it can give us to help us improve our swing. And so some of the things that you need to work on, and, and you can pick the order that you want to do it. I'll give you what I do, uh, but you can choose whatever order you'd like uh, to work on these items. The number one, and these are the swing skills that I talk about um, on my website and in many of my videos. Okay, the number one thing is face angle. So one of them, uh, your swing skills is going to be face angle. Okay, the direction your club is facing, right, at impact. Another one will be your swing path. That is the direction your club is moving, inside or out, uh, outside or in, outside in. And so those are two important ones. We'll also uh, talk about smash factor. Smash factor is the energy that you are putting in to the ball. It also will kind of give you an idea if you're hitting the ball in the center of the club. Okay, and so it's going to give you and show you that you're getting and maximizing your swing. So we'll use smash factor. We'll also look at some swing speed uh, things, uh, and we'll also uh, focus on distance control. So those five things are, are the main uh, swing skills that we want to work on. Face angle, swing path, right, smash factor or contact, uh, swing speed, and then distance control. Okay, and so uh, once we have those ideas down, we're going to pick one that we want to start with. The first thing we want to do is we want to focus on one swing factor at a time. It can get really complicated if you're focusing on every single swing factor and trying to um, a swing skill and trying to move it and, and all the data and, and try to change your swing based on different things. So focus on one. Okay. I like to start out with my face angle. Okay. I want to make sure that my face angle is as square as possible because that's going to be the, the starting direction of your shot. And so if you can get your face angle where you want it, your shot is going to at least start out in the, in, in the correct spot. So work on face angle first. That's what I like to do. So what you'll do is you'll take and, and you'll focus on just face angle and you'll look at the data when, when I swing and after I hit some shots, I'll take a look and just have it point to face angle okay? and really concentrate on that, that one piece of data. In fact, I like to, with the Garmin R10, you can put it to uh, a voice output. So what it'll do is it, after you hit the ball, it will tell you that particular piece of data. So it'll say uh, your face angle out loud. Okay, so that's a cool way to do it. But choose one and focus on one of the swing factors. Now, once we have chosen our focus swing factor, okay, I'm going to use the example of face angle. Now we're going to pick a target range. We're not going to be perfect. I'm not going to hit, especially as, as an average golfer, if, you know, and, and practice. I'm not going to hit every shot square. My face angle is not going to be square. So I need to pick a range that I think I can work with. And then I can tailor that down as I go. So I like to choose with my face angle, I like to choose under two degrees, either right or left. So in other words, either open or close two degrees uh, to, to square. Okay. So any direction that is two degrees, either direction, I consider that a win. And I'll mark it good in uh, the garment. Okay, and so my, my practice, when I go back to look, it'll show a good swing there. So I want to count how many of those I can get. So pick a target range okay, of what you want that swing factor to be. Now, once we have our swing uh, skill that we want to work on, and we want, uh, and we picked out our data that we want to focus on, that's my face angle, for example. We picked out our range, two degrees, uh, open or close, okay? 
Now we want to take, and I like to start out with my pitching wedge. You want to start out with one club, okay? And now I'm going to hit, say, 10 balls, okay? You can hit as many as you like, but I focus on hitting 10 shots. And of those 10 shots, I'm then going to keep track of how many fit and hit into that range. So after I hit my 10 shots, I'll have some data on my, my face angle. And after each shot, it'll show uh, my face angle. And I'll keep track of how many have been in my target range of two degrees either way. Okay. And so I want to keep track of my percentage. Then when I come back the next day or my next session, I can look at that uh, number and I can try to beat it. Okay. So let's say I was able to get it in the range six out of 10 shots. My next session, I want to try for seven out of 10. So I have these improvement uh, things going here. Okay, I'm trying to improve. I'm trying to get better. And I have data from my Garmin R10, my launch monitor, that is going to provide me that data. Club face 3.6 degrees right. Club face 0 0.3 degrees left. Club face 0 0.5 degrees right. Point eight degrees right. Club face 0 0.1 degrees right. Club face 1.1 degrees right. Club face 1.8 degrees right. Club face 1.6 degrees right. Once I've done that, okay, the next thing that I like to do is I like to uh, take and jump a couple clubs. So I don't necessarily go pitching wedge, then 9 iron, 8 iron, etc. I like to go pitching wedge, 8 iron, right, and then my 6 iron. Okay, and that will be my practice session. Then next session, I'll do nine iron, right, uh, seven iron, and maybe one of my hybrids. Okay, so that's how I like to, to practice it. I break it up into two sessions, hitting, you know, I usually hit 20 balls um, for each club, but, you know, 10 is fine too. It depends on how much you want to practice. Uh, but choose another club. So now I would go to my uh, eight iron. Okay, so I started with my pitching wedge. I go to my eight iron, okay? And in my head, I'm trying to get an idea of how I want to hit, how far I want to hit it, obviously. But then I'm focusing just on face angle. I'm at 10 shots or 20 shots, right? Keep track of how many I can get in my range. And then I move on to my next club, okay? And you can keep going up clubs if you like. I like to do three clubs. You know, I kind of get a little tired, and so I want to take a little rest. So that is my practice session is three clubs usually hitting 20 balls each club. So that's a total of 60 balls that I like to hit in one session. Uh, but that's up to you and how you want to do it, okay? So uh, from there, okay, we then will go to our final stage uh, to end our session. All right, so here is how I like to end my practice session, okay? I like to have a little challenge, right? I'm not going to um, stop until I, complete that challenge it's like steph curry you know will probably shoot you know 30 shots and he's got to make 10 in a row before he gets off the the basketball court well i kind of like to do it on a smaller version because i'm not uh, a steph curry of, of golf so but i like to do it in a small version so what i will do is i will after i've hit my 60 shots let's say um i may take a break and then i'll come back and um it, you know sometimes i won't take a break but I'll come back and then I'll take my pitching wedge. I'll go back to my pitching wedge and I got to hit two in a row shots that are in my range that I feel comfortable with. Two in a row. If I only hit one or don't hit eight, I keep going until I get two in a row. Once I get two in a row, I move to my next club that I was using. 
So that would be my eight iron. So then I hit two, I got to hit two in a row, or I kept to keep hitting with my eight iron until I get two in a row with my eight iron. Once I hit my eight iron and get the two in a row, I then uh, move to my uh, six iron, two in a row in that range, and then I'm done. And then I can take a break. I can go do some other stuff. And if I want to, I usually come back uh, at a later time and start over with different clubs. Uh, but that's kind of how I like to practice hitting balls with and, and having some goals and focusing on my um, different pieces of data. Okay. Now, after I I feel like I've really you know got my uh, face angle down, right? I've done the the drills and it may take weeks to get my face angle down. Once I've completed and finished and got my face angle to where I want it to be. Now I moved on to my next swing skill, which would be my swing pack, or it could be my smash pack, or it could be whatever you choose you want to, to work on. But usually I would try to then pair it with my um, swing path because now once I pair it with my swing path, right, the swing path is the trajectory of your ball, so your ball flight. So I get my starting position, uh, my starting direction, and then I get my trajectory. So if I want to hit a little draw, I can do so. Etc. Etc. So that's how I like to do it. Perfect one swing skill, right? Get that down. You'll feel good about yourself. You'll 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 hit the ball better, and then move on to another swing skill and so forth until you feel comfortable swinging and you can go out to the real course and have a blast, get better, right? Golf is a frustrating and hard sport to do, and so you have to practice. You know, I've I've taken time off. I hurt my shoulder, and so I took a bunch of time off, and I couldn't hit balls, and my golf game dropped. I went from like an 8 handicap all the way up to a 12 to 14 handicap. Um, and so just by practicing, you're going to get better, and you're going to, to see the results. And the, the reason I like this practice uh, routine is because you're using your launch monitor data, and you are, or you're getting good data, and then you are having goals and you're seeing that improvement. So let me know what you think down below. If you have other ideas, love to hear them. Love to hear how to, how to get better at golf. Love to hear how you practice and what you do, right? Make sure you subscribe, right? Check out my webpage. Uh, if you're interested in launch monitors or training aids or anything like that, I even have a practice, free practice plan that you can download. Um, so take a look, it's golfallyear.com, but make sure that, that uh, you comment down below and subscribe and have a great day and get keep getting better at golf.